This is the last focus tag I made before starting this video. I used the Fujifilm X-T5, the Renox and the Laowa 65mm Macro. The exoskeleton of a baby grasshopper, around 3mm. Here you can appreciate the size of it. The baby went out by the back of his head right there. Pretty cool, what do you think? I just received a new gadget. This is the Godox V350F. The F stands for Fujifilm. This flash is the all-time favorite of Michael Widdell, the macro photography king on YouTube. So I had to try it. This is fast, not too big, not too heavy, not too expensive and works like a charm. I set my flash in multi-mode, always between 1 over 16 and 1 over 32, sometimes but rarely 1 over 64, and no blackout so far. If I still need more light, I open my aperture. I was at f4 in some cases. I switch that little knob of my X-T5 to normal burst mode. I think it's uh, 5 frames per second. Then you have two techniques. By the way, using a flash in burst mode is very new to me. Here I shoot something in burst mode. You don't see it in the video, but the flash works with every shoot. And while shooting, I turn the focus ring anti-clockwise very slowly, trying to get the entire subject in focus. Here is the result. My guess is a rare emipteran. If you know the exact name of this one among the 80,000 other species of emipterans, please let us know. Here you can see it is missing a slice of focus, but overall it's fine. A good start. Here I use the other method, sliding the lens on my fingers going forward through the entire subject. I use this method when I am holding the leaf or the branch where the subject stands, simply because it's harder to hold the leaf and turn the ring at the same time. So I have been doing some focus tacking in a nice little place, at 2 minutes from my home. I feel like I have a lot of room for improvement, but let me share with you some of the not too bad stacked images that I made during the last 3 days. One of my first shoot, a very cooperative plant hopper, just 8 stacks. It's quite nice, but unfortunately, right there, in the middle, a slice of focus is missing. Here a portrait of it. This time we have 42 stacked images. The closer you are, the more stacks you need, because your depth of field becomes very tiny. And when your subject is moving a bit, then you do with what you have. So here I have 
two stacks only working well together of that beautiful little jumping spider. Another two stacks with that bee inside a white flower. It is still day one and when I saw this one, I understood that you can get some very cool images by focus stacking. Even though I remember having a lot of problem with this image in particular. Here is the original. You can see the multiple antennae among other problems to clean. This is a spider on his web. This is not too bad considering that it was handheld on a windy day. But again you can see the potential. I bet with a tripod and a day without wind you could get some great results. On day 2 I found a cool spider. I took my time so she got used to me. This one is a 12 stack of the spider and the place where she lives. You can see the nylon attach for safety reason. She is looking at me, ready to jump. But she didn't jump. She turned around and we decided to make a little portrait. Then I got this little baby plant hopper. This is very small, about 3 to 4 mm long. Another plant hopper, 14 stacks. Very often plant hoppers make good subject, not too shiny, nice shapes and colors. This grasshopper is a bit more rare to me with its flat head, commonly named slant face grasshopper. Here kind of everything is in focus and I am impressed with the result, nice colors and details. Here the same subject but she moved on a even better location so we had a great photo shoot with some cool plants. Again I'm really impressed with the result. And at last a ladybug on my bag. When I presented a leaf to her she climbed on it. I made this last picture from 40 images and I see you on the next one. Cheers!